Welcome back to me forever back again with another video and I, today I want to come on here and do my WWE NXT TakeOver New Orleans predictions video. I'm also going to do one for WrestleMania so stay tuned for that one. Um, I was going to do it on camera but like to be honest I was a little bit busy and I feel like this will be easier and quicker to get done. I'm about to try to speed through this because if I actually give my thoughts and details on videos they always end up like 35 minutes and I'm trying to make this like under 12 so let me get started with this video. Um, first of all, let me just say I'm yet to see a bad takeover, so this should be, I mean, it, sh it shouldn't be bad, it's not a bad match on the card, so I'm looking forward to this a lot. First match we got the Undisputed, the NXT Tag Team Championships and the Dusty Rose Classic Trophy on the line where in the Undisputed Era, Adam Cole and Kyle O'Reilly versus Authors of Pain versus Roderick Strong and Pete Dunne. Um, first of all, I don't think they should have did the Dusty Rose Classic. The tournament was so, like, sloppy and thrown together and just unorganized. I didn't like it at all. I don't like the team of Roderick Strong and Pete Dunne. They're really good in the ring, but that's just because Roderick Strong's a good wrestler and Pete Dunne's a good wrestler. So you put them together, of course they're going to be good. But to me, Pete Dunne already has a title and he's a good champion. He's had it for way too long, though. I mean, it's all, is it over a year yet? I think maybe the match should have just been Pete Dunne versus Roderick Strong for, the, for his title, the uh, United Kingdom Championship. But as for the win, I actually think I'm going with the Undisputed Era. Uh, actually, you know what? I'm going to go on a limb. I'm going to say Roger Strong and Pete Dunne are actually going to win because thrown together teams tend to win the Dusty Classic because you remember the first year it was Samoa Joe and Finn Balor. So I'm going to go with Pete Dunne and Roger Strong. That means they're going to have the tag team titles too. I don't know what they're going to do with those, but hey, I'm just going to pick them. Next up, we have the Women's the NXT Women's Championship, Ember Moon versus Shayna Baszler. I'm actually going with Shayna Baszler to win because I don't see how Ember Moon would beat her again after that first match. Unfortunately, I don't think Ember Moon's title reign, I think it probably goes down as one of the worst NXT Women's Championship reigns in history. I don't remember her feuding with anybody but Shayna Baszler. She probably did feud with somebody, but I mean, I don't remember it. And her as champion, I just, I really have not been feeling it, so... I'm going to go with Shayna Baszler to win the NXT Women's Championship. Next up, we have the ladder match um, for the NXT North American Championship. Adam Cole versus EC3. Ethan Carter III versus Killian Dane versus Lars Sullivan versus Ricochet versus The Velveteen Dream. This match should be a lot of fun. I cannot wait to see this match. This might be one of the most anticipated matches for me of the whole weekend. But um, as far as the winner, I'm going to go with my boy Ricochet. If I'm not mistaken, I think he's the only true face in this entire match like he's like Killian Dane is borderline to me I don't know if he's face or heel Lars Sullivan same thing I don't know if he's face or heel but Team Dream is straight heel EC3 seems like he's heel Adam Cole straight heel so and then I'm not going with Ricochet because he's a face I'm going with Ricochet because I think he's going to win like, I think the way they presented him when he came out like he's the only one that got entrance you know in that go home show of NXT they making him seem like he's like the best in NXT now. Um, personally, I like Ricochet a lot, and I was anticipating him coming to NXT a lot, but I don't like the way they're presenting him. Like, you see, like, he's getting the Roman Reigns treatment. Like, they're treating him like he's, like, the end-all, be-all of NXT. But, um, like I said, I'm a fan of Ricochet, and I think he's going to win the title. I like him a lot. I disagree with the title, though. I don't think we should have a North American Championship. That's basically, North America Championship is basically a U.S. Championship. If anybody don't know, North America, United States, I mean, same thing. Johnny Gargano versus Tommaso Champion, an unsanctioned match. If Gargano wins, he will be reinstated to, in the NXT. If Champa wins, Gargano will be banned from NXT forever. I actually think Gar Johnny Gargano is going to win. I, think, I don't think he's leaving NXT. Not right now. So I'm going to go with Johnny Gargano to get the win. But the thing is, when Johnny Gargano wins, I don't know where they're going to go from this. Like, he can win and then Tommaso Ciampa beats him up. But what's after that? Last man standing, maybe? So yeah, I'm going to go with Johnny Gargano for the win. And last but not least, the main event, Andrade Cien Almas with Zelina Vega putting their title on the line, their NXT Championship on the line against Aleister Black. Andrade has been great as champion. He has been the best NXT champion since I would say since Finn Balor. I honestly think he's been the greatest NXT champion since Finn Balor. I wasn't a fan of the Drew McIntyre or Bobby uh, Roode championship reigns. Samoa Joe, I feel like I just don't remember it because he he was champion twice and it seemed like they just went by. 
And I actually really don't remember Shinsuke. Like, I just remember Shinsuke going against Samoa Joe. Like, that's the thing I remember with those two. So I think that he's been the greatest NXT champion since Finn Balor. He's the last person to have a really good uh, NXT championship reign, in my opinion. So I don't think it's time to take for him to lose that title. I really don't. But I don't see Aleister Black losing either. I'm going to go with Andrade retaining his title. I don't know if that means he's going to win the match, but I guess I'm predicting the winner. So uh, I'm going to go with. All right, I'm going to go with Andrade winning, retaining. I think Andrade is going to win. <laughs> That's it. Uh, so, well, actually, mm, if he don't win, lose now. I don't know. Actually, I'm going to go with Aleister Black. Forget it. Aleister Black for the win. That's my prediction. Um, but that's it for this video. Uh, leave a comment out the leave comments down below and tell me y'all predictions. Debate my predictions. Um, do whatever you want to do down there. Check out some of my other videos. I do. I did some other wrestling videos. I did like a end of the year 2017 video and end of the year 2016 video for WWE for wrestling. So go ahead and check those out. Um, until next time, catch y'all.